Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to today's episode of Does Anybody Have Any Spare Bubble Bath? I'm Will, your host, the man with the ego, and the probably the second most handsome man on the internet at the moment. Um, I would like to say I'm going to introduce you to the most handsome man on the internet, but uh, I have got a special guest today. He's unfortunately not any more attractive than I am, and it's Darren Robinson, everyone! The second most attractive man in the room. But yeah, second most attractive man in the room, right there. Uh, if you notice, I'm now trying something new with my hair again. Um, stylist has once again decided to give me some direction. Uh, as you may work out from this cup that is backwards, I am 21 years old. Um, Darren is also 21 years old. Yeah. Uh, I still have my viral infection, I'm still dying, and if I do die, just remember, you bastards get absolutely nothing. I have pneumonia though, so I'm worse. I have a cough and everything. That's true. You'll see that later pneumonia. today, I'm sure. That'll be important throughout the rest of the episode. Right, um, as per usual, we start with a thank you to new subscribers. So, we have two new subscribers. Darren right here, he I subscribed. I subscribed. He kind of did it so he could get on the show, but there no, we are. No, no, well, mm, yeah, no, maybe. And uh, we have another subscriber who is called Conman, uh, I can't bother to say the rest of his name, but I think that I met him in Ibiza, I'm not sure. Uh, I think that is might be the Con Man. No, I think he's, um, do you remember Connor, Connor. from um, the Who the Fuck Are You? Who the Fuck Are You? Yeah, the yes. guy with the hat. If you are the guy with the hat, this is going to be very relevant to you today, because we're going to have a moan about people wearing hats inside. Ah, uh, yeah. So that's topic one for the day. Um, oh, we've, we've broken 20 viewers, everyone, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, we're all very proud of that. Um, we actually now have a budget. I will show you the show's budget right now. We have a budget. Uh, yeah, here is the show's budget. This is um, it's, it's really high stakes sort of recording right here. Uh, that's the show's budget there. What about those 30 pounds I just gave you? Yeah, that was for miscellaneous expenses. Oh, miscellaneous expenses. It's not for the show, that's for ah, me. Ah, I didn't know that. Um, if, you have, if you haven't noticed, I'm wearing... Oh, look, it's my crotch, everyone. Hello. Um, if you haven't noticed, I'm wearing a low-cut top today. Uh, that's because my stylist told me I should show off some more chest hair than I normally do. Um, now, Darren, unfortunately, can't grow chest hair, so yeah, he makes it up to his face. Um, yeah, it's the same. Yeah. Uh, now, we were, we were told in the comments section uh, last week by TJ Stickland, who, ironically, is my brother. Um, that's not ironic. Darren Robinson, everyone. This is why I bring him in on the show, because uh, he, he kills the vibes. I wouldn't uh, say he kills, just, just smoothing out the... Uh, inaccuracies? The, the inaccuracies, exactly. That's why I'm here. <coughs> <coughs> Drink your water. Oh. Remember, viral infection, you bastards get nothing. Right, um, so here's the deal then. Today, obviously, uh, I did mention about the 20 viewership, so we've broken that and we're really happy. We are exactly 40% of the way to me wearing an outfit on the show and uh, I will, I'll let you all know now it's a Superman dress up outfit well, why would you, why would you ruin um, I, I, you now know what the outfit's going to be but you don't know exactly what it's going to look like I've got an outfit uh, ok so apparently on the 10 on the ten subscribers show Darren is also going to turn up for another well, no, I, 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 as an outfit He's, I, uh, this I, is now on the internet There's no, yeah, as you know the format of this TV show is one we take. Uh, we do it in one take. It's one run through, and we go for it. Um, we don't actually. I don't actually watch it back, so I don't know how it goes, uh, whether or not it's any good. But we have now digressed for a little over three and a half minutes, which hats. is good. Hats it is then. So hats off to you. Hats indoors. What is that all about, Darren? I I personally wow. I think it's horrible. I think well, it's, it is. You see, it's the youth of today and the the, the the swag sensation. Well, what is what is swag? I mean. People comment in, do you have swag? Yeah, I've never heard of it. I thought I swag. swag. Swag was something that used to be written on bags of thieves. Thieves used to go in and they used to fill up their swag bag. You know? Oh, I've got so much swag. You know, they used to say that you were actually quite affluent. Um, now it just makes you sound effluent. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Same words. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm not, I'm not just a pretty face. I'm also mm. pretty intelligent. Mm. Um, so... Hats indoors. I mean, my mum. She she brought. I don't know about your mum. Your mum is incredibly fit, but oh, I don't know. Well. I don't know how she how she um brought you up in terms of hats indoors. But my mum told me the only time you can ever wear a hat indoors is if the roof's leaking. Hmm. Well, it was never really a, a salient issue in our house about hats. We just we just had our hair on the top of our heads, and uh, that was usually enough. Hats don't really don't really happen in our family. I guess. 
but more importantly, what the problem is now, people don't wear hats, they wear snapbacks. Uh, well, a number of angles will, but they're, they're called these snapbacks. But why are they not why are they not just called hats or, or in the caps which they of course are? And we went backwards. And I, I, you know, we we all had that phase where we wore a hat. Maybe I wore a hat once. Did you have your hair going through the thing like Ash Ketchup? I did a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I did a little bit. Yeah, I did that. The hair I had. Yeah. Yeah, but what, what, why is it a thing now? I saw we we were on holiday, Will. Do you remember this scene? We were by the pool. There were a group of lads. They had their snapbacks on. They jumped in the pool with their hats on. They took off all their clothes, apart from, of course, their swimming trunks. They kept their hat on. And they jumped in the pool. Got all wet. And that, that happened. Well, you were probably asleep. To be fair, I was either passed out or incredibly drunk at all times on our holidays. So, um, there's more stories to come from that, actually. One where I wake up with a condom wrapper in my mouth and a condom on the bed between myself and my friend Lewis Wise, who hopefully you will meet. That was funny. Uh, they decided it'd be hilarious to come into our hotel room yeah, yeah. and set us up like that. It was hilarious. There was footage, but unfortunately it has since been deleted. Yeah, someone got angry. Someone got very angry. Um, it was hilarious. It was. I'm not going to deny that it was quite funny, um, in retrospect. <laughs> but this is making for really shit viewing right Sorry. now. Sorry. Um, move on from hats. Yeah, let's move on from hats. So, yeah, um, oh, I have another apology I need to make. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, Gemma and Emma from the Loxie Sports and Social Club. I don't know why I do these things, but last night... Lewis Wise and myself went up to you and spoke to you, <laughs> and uh, he told you that he was an RAF pilot who flies F-11s, and that I was a trainee hairdresser, which uh, would have worked out fine, had these two girls not have been professional hairdressers. So every line of bullshit that I fed them was thoroughly intercepted. Um, intercepted. Intercepted. It was, it, was, it was awkward. More on the hats. I, well. I had a theory on the hats. People who wear these hats inside, do you reckon they're going bold? Do you reckon they're really embarrassed of their currently receding hairline? And they're so embarrassed by it that they must wear a hat at all times. If that's the case, I apologise to each and every one of you. Connor, you wear a lot of hats, or con man, as you go by on YouTube. You wear a lot of hats. So, um, I mean, you added me on Facebook last night, despite my uh, express request for no one from this viewership to add me on Facebook. Uh, you did choose to add me on Facebook. So you can now comment on uh, whether or not you wear hats because you've got a lack of hair. Or is it because you're compensating for a small penis? I don't know. Um, it's it's merely a question hat. that I'm asking. The, the hat is directly propor inversely proportional to the penis size. Yeah. Um, right, so there was some great stuff in the news today. Big sports news. Um, tomorrow we have got the Soapbox Derby, the Red Bull Soapbox Derby, uh, at Alexandra Palace in London. Uh, I'm not going down. Darren's not going down. But I am going to watch it on Channel 4 at 4 o'clock. Is that when it's on? That's at Channel 4 at 4 o'clock. Sunday tomorrow. Sunday tomorrow. Sunday. Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so at four o'clock on Sunday, I'm going to be watching that. Uh, now, ladies, you are obviously it's an open invitation for you to come around and watch it with me. Uh, you're badass, if you want to get in touch. Um, anyway, yeah. So and more, more news, more news in the world of sports. Have you heard about it? Oh, uh, that sport. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The <laughs> World Who Championships of pea shooting is on today in Ely in Cambridge. Is it? Yeah. Somebody genuinely woke up one day and thought, I'm pretty good at pea shooting. I wonder if I'm the best in the world. Are they? And they decided they'd want to prove it. It's been going since 1927. Did you know that? What year is it now? 2013. It's quite a long time. It's a pretty long time. Yeah. So the World Championship of pea shooting is uh, obviously up and running at the moment. And there are actually some rules for the World Championship of pea shooting. Um, the rules are, firstly, all pea shooters have to be 30 centimetres, or if you're like me and you, you speak in old money, a foot long. Um, all uh, peas have to be the peas provided by the official pea shooting World Championships Authority Board. Um, so you can't bring your own peas from home. Can't use petit pois. Well, I, of course, small I, I don't know. Actually, they may petit use petit pois. Petit pois may be the maybe ammunition. Petit pois is the standard ammunition of the pea shooting. I mean, it, maybe it's, it's, it's just mulch too, just sort maybe. of. In there, I, I find that unlikely. Probably. Um, but yeah, you, your pea shooting's got to be a foot long. Uh, you can only use the piece provided to you by the um, World Pea Shooting. Where did you read about this? Uh, it was in BBC News Sports section. Oh, was it? Yeah. 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 What else did you do with your day? Um, 
Not a lot, really. Uh, and uh, obviously, there are still there are yet more rules. Um, obviously, seven. Uh, well, as many competitors <coughs> as you want. They've got. Uh, I think they've got seventy there today. You read the whole article, um, didn't you? I did. You didn't just you didn't just skim it. You no, read, it. read the whole thing. Um, wow. I think I can do Darren. It's called reading. Oh, uh, I've done that before. Yeah. So you've got um, obviously seventy people. I think have turned up today, and the top twelve go through to the final. Uh, you all shoot peas at the board from about three and a half meters away, and it's a putty target. And obviously it will hold the P and you can work out how much your points are and the top 12 scorers go through to the final and stuff like that. Um, interesting fact, did you notice that in the World Championship of Pea Shooting, it is a legal addition to your pea shooter to have a laser sight for accuracy. It's legal. It's legal. You can't bring your own peas from home, but you can have a laser sight on your so pea shooter. So that's optional? Yeah, yeah, the laser sight is optional, not compulsory. Why wouldn't you have it? I don't know. How many people take pea shooting that seriously? With the champion, I would imagine. Well, he probably does. Maybe, he, maybe they've got one guy with the laser sight wins every maybe, time. Maybe, maybe. But um, yeah, that is. That's, so if you are going to take up professional pea shooting, um, I would suggest that you do go and invest in a good laser sight. Yeah. Um, this is ad libbed too far. GM crops are in the news today. Um, George Osborne has decided he's going to launch a new initiative to promote the use of GM crops. Now I've got a theory about why George Osborne's done this. Have you? What is it, Will? Right, George Osborne. We all know from last week that he lives in a layer of the White Cliffs of Dover. Last week? Uh, so yesterday. Oh, that was the thing I had to talk to you about. Where does he live? A layer in the White Cliffs of Dover. A layer? Yeah. Layer. A layer. Layer. A layer. A layer. Right, it's a layer. Everyone knows it's a layer. It's and a layer. if you watch anything on TV, it's always their secret layer or underground base. Anyway, he lives in a, a layer, layer in the White Cliffs of Dover. And um, he's got these flying killer bloom of jellyfish. Now, these killer bloom, I've recently found out, are now equipped with laser-guided pea shooters, yeah. um, just for added accuracy. <laughs> and they are, uh, there was a problem, um, George and David, they are, we're going to now reenact the conversation. So I'm obviously George and Darren is David. Yeah. David, I've solved it. I've solved the feeding problem. Have you? Yeah. What, it's what amazing. What me then? GM crops. We make super algae, super algae for our evil jellyfish to come along and resolve the economy issues. Stop anyone from leaving. Anyone who tries to leave, they can be zapped or they can be hit with our laser guided pea shooters. I think you're a bit, a bit silly there, George. Um, calm down. Calm down a bit. Think about what you're saying and uh, come back to me tomorrow. Sick em, boys! Hmm. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll yeah. see you later then. Yeah. yeah, that's the conversation that happened. Yeah. Yeah, so Darren's left, uh, which uh, I think adds to the show more than detracts from it. Um, I'm really apologetic for the way this has gone today. We basically, um, as you know, I very rarely do any form of preparation for this show. Um, but I wasn't really in a great mood today about it. Darren insisted we do one, so he came in as a special guest. Uh, once you leave, you can't come back. Uh, oh, uh, I was just doing a bit. I oh, was, he was doing a bit. He I was doing, doing a bit. bit. I was, he that, wasn't. He that wasn't. Was the, how the conversation went with David Cameron uh, and George. Just what happened? David just left. Oh, David left. Sorry, I thought Darren was leaving. Oh, he didn't oh. do a silly voice. Oh, should have done a silly voice. Oh, ha, oh, you are just the worst. So um, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm apologetic for the quality of the uh, production today. It, it wasn't great. Um, I'm not going to deny that. But uh, on the plus think, side, new angle. Two people, conversations, conversations to the people. Yeah, yeah, there's a, there's a positive yeah I think I think maybe people can can relay their opinions on the new format. You know, maybe I've gone too mainstream. Maybe I need to go back to my roots, or maybe we like the new format. If we like the new format, maybe you like Darren as a co-presenter. Maybe you like maybe. Darren as the entire presenter, or maybe, maybe we should do a rotating rotating special guest each week. I think so. Um, so this was kind of like a pilot for the two-man edition of the show. Um, one and one. Two. Yeah. Two men. That's how that works. Yeah. If we had a midget, we could do two and a half men, but then we might get in trouble. That would be that copyright would be. issues. Oh, I'm still doing that thing with my little finger. And that's Callum's influence. That's Callum's influence. That's frustrating. I don't. I'm not silly. But um. No. Yeah. Um, we really hope you have enjoyed what we've what we've produced for you today. I'll admit the quality hasn't been as good, but I think we can take a couple of lessons from the things we've learned over the last couple of days. Um, if you're going to take an international flight, make sure your pilot isn't French. Um, make sure that... Uh, oh, by the way, the, um, the French rail network, they released a statement. I think they, they saw my, my very highly watched program and they decided oh. to release a statement about how 
the, the issue with the train derailment was a track issue and not a driver issue. So, um, yeah, I think they, uh, they learned about the beautiful women and the wine, and they didn't quite like that one. Um, I'm sure I'm going to receive an angry letter at some point. But obviously, you know, if you're going to get on a, fr on a train, don't do it in France. Uh, don't get on a Dreamliner aeroplane. Um, they seem to be pretty cursed. Uh, don't. France, Dreamliner. France, the French, French pilots, definitely a no-go. Yeah. Uh, watch out for Bloom's jellyfish. Bloom's jellyfish. If you want to make something scary, don't call it a bloom. And finally, lair. No, it's layer. It's layer. Because a layer is like a layer. A layer is where uh, evil people live. It's definitely a layer. Yeah. Okay, um, let's put it to public opinion. Okay, um, if you think it's a layer, layer as in hair. Comment with layer Darren is a knob. Gayer. If you think it's layer, <laughs> comment with Darren is a paedophile. No. So no. layer, Darren is a knob. Layer, Darren is a paedophile. Or, or we can be. We can be sensible about this and just, just ask them properly to give their answer. The answer. What, so they agree with the type L-A-I-R or L-A-I-R? No, listen. They'll either say, type layer as in hair, or layer as in gayer, as in you are gayer than I. See, what I did there was I was being serious and I had a little joke at the end. But you get the idea. Yeah. And on that note. Yeah, we're not leaving yet, though, because I, I think everyone needs to see my chest hair a bit more. There's my. There if you notice, I've got the bat symbol. I'm Batman. Batman. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's the show for today. Um, big shout out again to Robin Callum, Conman, and obviously Darren. Um, hopefully, my brother's watching this. Uh, Sophie Day, you might be watching this. So uh, hi, Sophie. Uh, hi to my mum, my nan, <coughs> my brother. Uh, Darren, anyone you want to say hi to? We're on a public forum. Oh, everybody. There's seven billion of them. Pick cool. one specifically. Hello, Mum. Angela. See you later. Bye. Um, right, yeah, so we're going to go. Um, I apologise, this hasn't been as entertaining as before, but I promise tomorrow's will be better. All right. Cheers, guys. Cheers for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, because I've got 20 viewers and 4 subscribers, so something's gone wrong. All right, bye. bye.